Hello guys and welcome and um, thank you for joining. Um, today I've come on to do a walkthrough of this really, really gorgeously special deck um, that was sent to me by the creator for a review. Um, and honestly guys, I was so blown away um, when it arrived. Um, it's by Maria of You Lucky Devil Tarot and Lobster Moon Tarot.com in collaboration with uh, Daniel, Martin and Diaz. Um, and, you know, when you've got something special and you think, wow, you know, I didn't realise how much work went into the deck, the quality and everything is absolutely A1. So what I got in the package was um, the little guy put to it. Um, the cloth bag and the deck in the box. When I first saw the box, um, it reminded me very much of the Pagan Otherworld in its quality. Um, and the seal on the top as well, which I haven't broken. Um, I've opened it from the other way around. Um, there's the front of the box. You've got Earth Magic Tarot, Hermetic Prophecies. And it's www.danielmartindiaz.com, first printing in fall 2022. Um, so the book uh, has been written by uh, Maria, and there's an inscription there for me at the front. Um, and there you have uh, Daniel's initials on this card, and well, this page, and there's an extra card in the deck as well. Um, so you can find out all about both people by going to their websites or uh, socials. Uh, they're very easy to find. Uh, I'll link below anyway uh, in the video. So the contents of the book, uh, they are all here uh, numbered. So it's really easy to find uh, the cards. And each card is um, given a full page. And an explanation on every single page. Um, so it is a 175 page usable book. And there is an intentions there by Maria at the back. And, and a little kind of paragraph um, about Daniel there as well. Um, I absolutely love it. It's a very me deck. Um, it's based on emetics. Um and there's like out the out the alchemical process as well. It doesn't go into too much depth in the book about the alchemical process. It is very much based on the Roy Dwight Smith reading uh, meanings, and um, but that is perfectly fine. Obviously, um, if you wanted to delve deeper into emeticism, there is plenty of information available anyway. Um, but there's so much information in this little guidebook. You know, it is like a standalone guidebook by itself anyway. Um, I'm not sure, but I do think you have to purchase the guidebook separately. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but, you know, if you check out uh, Maria's website, and, you know, you'll find out all the details on there. So let's get on to the cards anyway. Um, so as I said, I opened mine from the bottom because I didn't want to damage the seal on the top. Um, they're slightly bigger, um, just ever so slightly bigger than a standard tarot deck. Um they are quality it's printed on casino quality cardstock linen uh heavy feel as well it fans out absolutely beautifully the backs are gorgeous as well they match the front of the box they match the box um so everything about this deck is quality um Right, let me show you the cards. So the two extra cards are the ones with Daniel's initials on and the Earth Magic card as well, um, which is gorgeous. Um, so these are the, uh, you know, you've got the Earth, Air, Fire, Water uh, symbols, um, which uh, sum up the whole of the deck. So as I said, it's all based on the Rider Waite Smith um, meanings. Uh, so if you are... Um, a Rider Waite Smith tarot reader, um, it will work perfectly. You can read it straight out of the box. Um, there is little added symbols as well, um, which you can find more about. I don't know whether Maria actually mentions the crying eye in the sun card on the beginning. Let me just have a look. Um, uh, and it's a mythological creature because it's a fox at the bottom instead of the dog. Um, it's a perfect companion for the fool. 
as the master of quick thinking and adaptability, a fox finds a swift solution around obstacles. Resourceful and sometimes even cunning, the fox is a great guide when facing tricky situations on an adventurous path. The fox is also, like the fool, <coughs> an opportunity suffering from a severe case of wanderlust that loves to take chances and venture into the unknown territories. So there you've got like a whole paragraph of the meaning of the card and there there's some keywords on the bottom as well and that's on every single card in the deck so as i said you know this is perfect to use as a standalone tarot book um and it gives more in-depth information about the cards but not too much on the hermeticism and alchemical side of things so the cards are just gorgeous um they remind me of medieval images I adore the quality, the colour. Um, they're kind of like a, a matte, not to laminate it. Uh, they are beautiful. So, you know, you'll see what I mean by the beauty of the illustrations. Daniel's artwork is absolutely incredible. Um, it's been a long time since I've seen a deck as special as this, I will be honest. Um it's just really really gorgeous and you know that lovely empress there and she's got like branches for hands and show that shows that she's truly connected um to the earth the emperor there he looks like he's like kind of like looking over his domain because you've got the little houses there and he looks bigger you know so you've got the world in his hands as well and you've got the ram there as well I absolutely love, love, love that hair event. Um, with the keys and, you know, the... Oh, it's just amazing. Really amazing. The lovers as well. This is a very, very me deck. Um, I can't wait to start using it. You know, I've been itching to, like, kind of use it. But, like, I thought, well, if I do, I've got to put all the cards back in order. And I thought, well, I'll leave it till today to come on because it arrived yesterday. But I have been itching to use it. And post it on my Instagram. So there's lots of nods to alchemy and enemeticism um, in the deck. Wheel of Fortunes, gorgeous as well. I absolutely love that Justice card. The Hangman. Death. And then you've got the Scorpion and the Timer there. Temperance. Incredible Devil there. It's like kind of like devouring that person and then the person coming out of the genitalia at the bottom and then you've got the rings of saturn on there as well the angel one of my favorite towers i remember seeing this online um on maria's feed and it's one of my favorite towers Beautiful. And then the moon. And that like incredible like sun card. Judgment. And then we go finally to the world. So all the suits are named after the Rider Waite Smith has been no changes whatsoever. So you've got Page Knight, Kieran, and King. So um, as you can see, some of the cards are kind of pippish, but not. Um, you know, very minimal illustrations on some of them, but you can totally get the idea of the card anyway. So you know, the two of ones and then the three. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Four. Five, and then you can see the elemental sign in the corner for fire there. Six of wands. I should imagine this is kind of like a trance 
transmutive process i will have a look in the book see if it does say anything about it uh six of wands right now everything is lining up perfectly and the sense of harmony and balance is indisputable there's nothing like returning home and being greeted and applauded for your accomplishments and achievements uh da -da -da -da. No, it doesn't explain anything about the alchemical process here. Um, you've got the fire underneath and you've got that vessel there. Um, I think maybe I would have liked to have seen just a little bit more um, explanation in the guidebook about that, what that actually does mean. But that's not a problem, that's just me. Um, it's still very beautiful anyway. So the seven, I love that. A nod to the Tarot de Marseille, and the eight, and the nine, and the ten, and there we have the page, the knight, the queen, beautiful, covered in flowers, and you know, that like this sunflower there as well. And the king. And so there is the like the Roger White Smith kind of ace of cups on that one. With the dove. And the two. I love the font as well. You know, the font kind of really totally works for um this deck. The four. Kind of reminds me of artwork from old grimoires as well, you know, in the Middle Ages. Uh, it's got that kind of feel to it. Gorgeous. And there's uh, the emeticism. The triangle in the middle. Ten. Oh, that's gorgeous as well, that page. And the night. Queen. And finally, that gorgeous king there. So now we're onto the swords. Oh, that's nice as well. Gorgeous as well on that six. And can you see how that, like, that blade of that sword's, like, kind of wavy? Um, as opposed to the others. Oh, that looks like the Virgin Mary. Beautiful queen. Oh, look at that incredible king. Oh, look. Looks like a, a little kind of um, UFO there. Finally, we're on to the coins. Or pentacles, whichever you prefer. Also, um, it reminds me, some of the cards remind me of um, Robert M. Place's Alchemical Tarot as well. So if you've got that, you're going to absolutely love this one. Oh, look at that. 
like that. Just stunning. Detailing the artwork with a little crowd of people walking into that fortress there and the page has the ship on the head and then finally the king and so we're back to the very beginning it's absolutely beautiful honestly um i can't fault it in any way at all um if i have a little tiny critique and this is just for me um obviously it would have been nice to see what some of the alchemical symbols represented um it's definitely not a deal breaker because you can obviously find out yourself anyway um but it would have been nice to kind of like have it all here but i understand how difficult it is to write a book and, and you know produce a deck so you know I am not in the slightest bit faulting either Maria or Daniel for this um it's incredible uh, it really is um I think this deck will be one of those kind of like modern classics um you know that we have and you know i think it's accessible to everyone um especially people who are see like rearful shuffles absolutely beautiful especially people who love alchemy who love a bit of the occult thrown in um it's really a special kind of deck and completely different um from anything out there at the moment it is available now um directly from maria i think and maybe from daniel as well i will double check before i post the links up anyway um but i really hope you like it um as i said i think it's a wonderful deck and you know i will be using this because i love the vintage style of the artwork everything the color palette the cardstock it is just absolutely perfect um so thank you so much for watching guys i have got a cold so i've kind of struggled through this without sniffing um but yeah i can go now and blow my nose and um hopefully see you tomorrow where i'm doing a live with levi um so we're going to talk about upcoming releases um which is always really super interesting so thank you for watching and this has been a walkthrough of the earth magic tarot hermetic prophecies and I shall leave all the details below so you can grab yourself a copy. So wherever you are in the world, have a lovely day, evening, sending you love always. Stay safe and take care. Bye, guys.